Good morning, Eagles. Today is Wednesday, November 8th. We have your daily announcements about the Eaton Science UIL team. We also have information on the Eaton Winter Garden. This and more up next on Eagle TV. Today is a special day at Eaton as we had our first college signing day. Jared Seals, Colby Seltzer, and Cade Winquest all signed for baseball. Alan Tyre signed for track and field. Lindsey Ferkel, Kaylee Payne, and Fabiola Rivera all signed for volleyball. Congratulations to these fellow Eagles. Here's a video from the signing this morning. I want to start by talking about them together as a group. Uh, they had a huge task. I talked to them the other night. Uh, we made it to the playoffs, won a playoff game. But these three ladies have had to be seniors along with the others who are to watch them. They've had to be seniors essentially for three years. They had the leads of this building open. And that's a huge responsibility for all of you. And you've done a wonderful job. So not only should you be proud of what you've achieved that's going to take you on beyond here, but it's what you've done for our school. Kaylee and uh, Alan. Kaylee and Alan were mentioned a long time ago about what their expectations were, and all they've done is exceed those expectations. Um, I know that going to the Big 12 with Coach Kipley and Coach Slagle, uh, I know those guys have known them for a long time. Uh, it's kind of neat last spring when they were having a regional meet. Coach Kipley has got kind of hidden. It was cold, it was raining. He's got a hood over him and nobody knew who he was. I saw this leaning over to him. Said she's gonna be pretty good, and uh, here she is signing a letter of intent to go to Texas Tech. So that's awesome. She's got the third place medal. She's got the second place medal, and we get to go watch her go for that gold medal this next next spring. So congratulations. We know you're gonna do well, and you're not too far from home. Go so, so. The Fill the Bus campaign has started and will end this Friday, November 10th. Here's the informational video about the food drive. Hi, I'm Taylor Pogue and I'm the Vice President of Living Faith today. I'm Kyle Shelton and I'm the Secretary. Uh, my name is Dylan Olson and I'm the Secretary. So as you've heard, we are doing a Fill the Bus. So that means that we are going to be having a competition between all three lunches. We are asking that you bring canned foods that are non-perishable and that you place them in the containers up front during all lunches. Also, this is a two-week event which starts October 30th through November 10th. It is a competition between all three lunches, like I said, and the maximum the maximum goal for the school is 2400 but each lunch should at least have 500 or more. And the lunch the lunch that has most wins at the end of the day, at the end of the competition. And that prize that is given to the winner is free popcorn for all the students during that lunch period. So if you want to win, come out and fill up the fill up your box during lunch and try to beat the other lunches. Thanks, guys. Come join us in the library on Friday, November 10th for Adulting 101 Setting the Table. We will talk about how to set a table for basic, informal, and formal dining, as well as discussing etiquette, etiquette and other dining topics that may be helpful with the holidays just around the corner. If you are planning on joining us, please bring your lunch. Science UIL has started meeting for the UIL practice each Wednesday at 8.15 in Mrs. Bear's room A311. We are starting the Race to End Racism campaign this week. Here's the promotional video.
There will be a fishing club meeting today at 6 p.m. If you missed the last meeting, this is another chance for you to get involved with the great organization. We will be discussing the formation of our bass fishing team with specific information about upcoming tournaments. If you, have wished, if you wish to fish in the bass tournaments this season for Eaton Bass Team, you need to attend this meeting. Attention seniors, UNT will be hosting a financial and work session to assist parents and students with completing their FAFSA. This will be held at Eaton tomorrow from 6 to 8 p.m. All students who are planning to attend need to have applied for the FSA ID before the work session begins. The FAFSA is the key to receiving financial assistance with college tuition. All students that are planning to go to college need to complete the FAFSA. If you need assistance with that or have questions, please contact your counselor. Students and staff, our annual Veterans Day program is just around the corner. If you have a friend or family member that has served, please invite them to join us November 10th at 9 a.m. in the PAC. An RSVP needed to be filled out. This can be found in the newsletter by the hallway or contacting Mr. Kelly in room A213. Please get the word out so we can honor all those who have served. Attention Eagles, Eaton Winter Guard will be holding tryouts next week, November 13th, 15th, and 17th after school from 430 to 630. Hope to see you there. Eagles, here are the dress up days for the race against racism this week. Today is Jersey Day, wear your favorite team's jersey. Tomorrow is Hat Day, wear your favorite hat. And Friday is Patriots Day, wear your red, white, and blue. Attention members of Spanish Honor Society. We will be having a meeting on Monday, November 13th at either 8 or 4 p.m. in the afternoon in the World Language Pod C100. Please make sure to attend one. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Schlotz Howard in room C122. And now for a Not Sports Center update with Scout Cooper. What's up, Eagles? Cowboys fans have come out of the caves they used back when Coney Romo was their quarterback after beating the Chiefs, but are still holding their breath, waiting for the season to be over when Zeke's suspension kicks in. The Lions defeated the Packers at Lambeau Field, which is only the second time in 26 games that Green Bay the Lions have won, but hey, we'll take it. And although it may have been because Aaron Rodgers didn't play, the last time a Packers quarterback named Brett played, Lions fans were very sad for a very long time. The NFC playoff picture is honestly disgusting, with the Eagles and Saints at 1-2. And if you told me that would be the case last year, I would have called the police. Baker Mayfield had a heyday in Stillwater on Saturday, throwing for almost 600 yards. Mason Rudolph had a pretty good day too, but ended up wetting himself and throwing more picks than 2016 Eli Manning on a bad day. Georgia is ranked number one in the playoff bracket, mainly because they haven't played Alabama, and everyone is still confused why Notre Dame is still number three. The Catholics versus Convicts game is this weekend, with number three Notre Dame facing off against number eight Miami, and the winner will undoubtedly be the worst team to make the playoffs this year. A&M lost to Mississippi State, and the fighting Texas Aggies have stopped doing the math for how they might make playoffs and started adding up how many wins they might get to win a bowl game. That's all I've got for y'all today, Eagles. Stay classy. Student Council General Meeting will be next Tuesday, November 14th at 8 a.m. and 4.05 p.m. All students are welcome. Today, Eaton High School is proud to fly our American flag for Mr. Edward Lee Fisher. Today's hero served in the Army for several years. He was also courageous enough to serve in World War II and the Korean War. He was prisoner of World War II and received five ma major medals. The Eaton Eagles are incredibly grateful for Mr. Fisher and his great niece and Eagle Car Cara Cope for making this nomination. And now for the moment of silence and pledges. Please pause for a moment of silence. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. That's all we have for you today, Eagles. I'm Dawson Turner. And I'm Brooke Wells, and this has been Eagle TV. Make it a great day, Eagles.